Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome to our Gamer Encounters for Empires of the Undergrowth, which is basically Sim Ant plus Dungeon Keeper, which is sort of like the old Empire of the Ants, if you played that nostalgic title. Anyway, today we are encountering this for the first time. A review copy was sent to me, and it's received an update for the campaign, which we're going to be playing some of it today. So let's see what it's like. <laughs> Alright, so what we're gonna be doing is just checking out some of the options, settings, and playing some of the games. So let's just quickly look at the settings here. And uh, it's got some nice stuff. I've turned on subtitles. There is an arachnophobe mode, which is nice. It's a nice option to have. Uh, these info things are controlled in game, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna enable tips because I haven't played much of this game. And uh, pause game with notifications. Yes, realistic mode means it takes off a lot of the on-screen information sort of thing. And uh, under graphics, we've got windowed full screen, very nice. Unlimited frame rate, very nice. V-Sync, cool. Gamma settings, graphic presets, which does control all of this stuff down here. Foliage, scaling, epic. I mean, it's not a very graphically intense game, so I just pushed it all up to max. In terms of this, I'm going to boost the music up a little bit. Some of the sound balancing is a little off. It's not quite perfected. Some songs are louder than others. Some voices are louder than others. So apologies if uh, the, the audio balance is a little off today. But I do want you to hear the voice acting, which is uh, what I consider very important in these games. And key bindings, they are rebindable. So that's there. Great. Now, this game has been in development, it started on Kickstarter, it's been in development for a long time now. A um, couple years I think it's been playable, and I always have been keeping an eye on it, keep uh, like listing it in my upcoming strategy games list, and it's just sort of not quite been developed enough for me to jump into it. Um, so, But then they sent me a review copy and said, hey, we've got a new update, you can see you know, there's, there's stuff happening. Uh, just to show you, I'm going to show you the settings for free play here. Uh, colony color, lots of colors to choose from, that's great. Uh, colony species, we've got black ant, wood ant, and gene thief. Now, um, if you played Empire of the Ants before, uh, usually your ant colony is consists of the many different types of species of ants. So you can have a spitter ant, you can have the leaf cutter ant, and all of that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how this handles the ants, uh, but you have like a colony species and then you have various kinds of ants inside as well. Uh, only a couple maps available right now. Day-night cycle controls, time of day, morning, I guess. Difficulty type, uh, constant, ramp, spikes, ramp with spikes, scale with colony, random. I'm not sure what this means. Start difficulty, I guess it gets more difficult as you go along. Uber creatures, oh there's like epic creatures out there, very spore. Uh, <laughs> all rainforest creatures. So there's lot, lots of stuff. Attack waves, so you could be like sort of a survival mode here. Increasingly difficult attack waves, which is a very popular mode for real-time strategies nowadays after uh, They Are Billions became such a success. Conan and Conquered is doing that as well. And all of that. Fog of War. Very cool. But what I want to do today is jump into the Formicarium. Now, when I was, when I was a kid, I really wanted an ant farm. They're just not a thing where I live, but I found them fascinating. I played Sim Ant. I, I, I loved ants. And, uh, well, hopefully this this holds up. Like, this game does become a pretty decent ant strategy game, which is very easy to get wrong. Um, but let's see. Let's see. New Formicarium. We're gonna be Dwellmend, of course. And... Our brand color, black. <laughs> By the way, in case you're wondering about the lighting today, we do have the dynamic lighting enabled. So as I go between environments, my face will match the environment because that is the technology that we have nowadays. Mm, look at that. Look at that. Ah. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, I see the queen has taken well to her new home. It, it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen. How 
long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Formica Fusca and observe their reaction. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. Uh, so the voice acting, pretty decent. Pretty decent, right? Uh, like, we, we've heard a mix of voice acting recently. Uh, and this, I, I like it. I like how these scientists are so into ants. They're like, ooh, these ants. We've got such Why a healthy specimen. Ants? You need space to grow. Dig, dig, dig. Right? Anyway, this plays pretty much like Dungeon Keeper. Digging out tiles. Look at that. Let's expand. They're beginning to expand their territory. Excellent news. So... This is basically like mm. if if you is haven't played wrong? I I have provided them with food just a few centimeters south of the queen but but they don't seem to be interested. If they are too distressed to collect food, then we will have to replace the colony and start again. Such a terrible waste. I do I like the accents, right? Uh but yes, it's uh if you haven't played Empire of the Ants before, it's basically Sim Ant plus Dungeon Keeper, right? Let's get this food. Um, but Empire of the Ants was sort of preset rooms. This is more digging sort of thing. Now, there's a lot of information here, and we're just going to explore this one by one. You can see these tooltips on this side. Welcome to your Formicarium. This is your hub from which you will launch levels, upgrade your home colony, and put it to the test. The Formicarium has two types of resources you will not see in other levels, because this is campaign mode. So this is like hub world, and then you go on missions sort of thing, right? Uh, uh, not seen other levels, and you'll receive more of these by playing other levels. Territory limits the number of tiles you can mark for excavation. From time to time, notifications with an eye symbol or tips with a light bulb will appear here. Good. To expand your colony, you're going to need space. When no tool is selected, you can dig grounds. Uh-huh. If an ant sees food, it will pick it up and bring it back to the colony where it can be used, provided you have storage space. Once it is stored in your nest, the value of the food will be added to your resource counter in the top right. Resource counter is here, I think. I think this is... is this it? I'm not sure if there's tooltips on this. Maybe there are. Uh, any idle worker may bring an egg from the queen to a nursery tile. These eggs develop and eventually hatch into new ants for your colony. Very familiar, right? Food. That's our food, max food. This is our royal jelly, uh, which I think is... Yeah, that's territory 29 tiles. This is our workers, max workers. This is soldiers, max soldiers. Royal jelly, I think, is the unique resource here. Now you have some resources. Consider building some new workers. Select the nurseries tab from the bottom right and select the formica eruptor worker. You can mark any dugout area as a worker tile improvement. Note, you spend resources to mark the area. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. So we can build... Uh, no, here. This is it. Worker ant nursery tile. So I can just mark these. So these take 20 food to place. Let's just start with three. The queen has begun to lay new eggs. Perfect. We will soon have a thriving colony. He's so into them. The queen has begun to lay new eggs. Mm. It's like he's gonna eat them. So we hatched new workers, look at that. In the bottom middle of your screen is your pheromone marker, very Empire of the Ants. You control your units using pheromone markers, uh, which uh, I suppose that's sort of cement as well. Uh, but this is a bit more direct than that. Uh huh. Ants will notice the marker and head to it. Understood. Your nest design will affect how your colony performs. Ants receive movement speed penalty when they walk on nursery tile improvements. So building corridors and closed off rooms allow faster movement around the nest. Okay, I love that. That means there is actual gameplay, uh, gameplay benefits for building your colony like a real ant colony. I love it when games do that. It's not just... You know, oh, you should build it like an ant's nest, but you could build them all in, like, just one big open area. No. One big open area means you basically lose the effect of having highways. So if I just have, like, a big square nursery here, and then I wanted to expand over there, all the workers would have to cross the nursery tiles, slowing them down. So building things like 
an actual ant colony will be good. So let's say I want to turn this into a nursery area. Just dig up this and we can expand the nursery down this way. Right? There we go. The far left group on, in your pheromone marker, so this one, it's highlighting... Oh, I see. It, it actually highlights on the UI. Great. Um, uh, nest group. Workers in this group will do jobs around the nest, including digging, carrying eggs to nurseries, building tile improvements, and upgrading them. Good. Uh, in the top left is the level select dialog. From here, you can see available levels and also formicarium challenges. Selecting a level will take you to a standalone level and winning will provide you with rewards for your formicarium. Formicarium challenges will put your formicarium colony to the test, so make sure you are prepared before selecting one. So up here, we have the tech tree. Okay, so I don't know much about this, but we have a tech tree. So there's the Gene Thief Worker. Right, we have the Gene Thief Queen. So we're playing Gene Thief? No, this is Black Ant. Okay, so Wood Ant. Wood Ant Mortar. Wood Ant Rapid Fire. Leaf Cutter Major. So these are different types of ants. I'm not sure if we unlock them. I think... Are we Black Ants right now? Or are we... Gene Thieves. Acquire minor improvement for this type of ant. You do not have 75 royal jelly required to acquire this enhancement. I think we're Gene Thief because we can improve these. Okay, so I've prepared a nursery area and basically you don't want to build out from here because if this is filled with nursery, it'll just slow everyone down. Once you're ready, open the level select dialog in the top left to play. New home is recommended as the first level. Wonderful. That, that, was, that was a great tutorial, wasn't it? That was a great tutorial. Um, new home. Is this a, This is a gateway mission. Um, Formicarium level one. New home. Subjugation. Formicarium challenge one. Test the might of your Formicarium colony. It will survive whether the science plans. This will unlock the next mission I see. So... We want to do new home first. A new Formica Fusca colony has set up home in a rotting log, but to establish themselves will be no simple task. Difficulty. Now, I have a policy uh, when starting a new game. Never go easiest, never go hardest. So I'm going to go medium because I feel like this game needs some understanding. Challenge mode off. So rewards includes a first time play bonus which is is this royal jelly i think no this is the royal jelly this is something else i'm not sure if territory plus oh is it like plus 20 territory so it's max territory okay let's play new home let's play new home okay so this is kill this objective. formica fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log she is fat and vulnerable her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. <laughs> oh, he's talking about me when I'm sitting at home eating a cake Mrs. Gamerzak made. Oh, he's sitting alone at home. He's fat and vulnerable. And I eat the cake. <laughs> Outside of the formicarium, digging is free and there is no tech tree. These levels are set up with units you can build and tile upgrades are automatically unlocked. On winning these missions, you will select rewards to take back to your formicarium colony. Okay, so... I assume these question marks are good, the exclamation marks are bad. So let's dig over to here and just let's make a little room there. And is that food? The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Oh, it's so brutal. It's like a documentary. Yeah. Benendel was the best. Ah, <laughs> oh, I, I, you think they have budget to to get David Attenborough on this? 
the ants have encountered a pocket of woodworms. They will make a delicious meal for the colony. They will be carried off and processed. Okay, well, I guess that's just our food source. We keep expanding into these pockets of question marks. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, that's good. More, more food, more food. Uh, we got stuff to build as well. What is this? Black ant nursery tile. So it is two food to hatch, five food to hatch for me. Black ant. Worker ant. Is black ant a soldier then? So let's try put down a couple worker ants and put down maybe a couple black ants. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers, so the ants must hunt for more woodworms. Let's just create a bit more room around the queen here. So we've got a couple more workers and one soldier. Okay, so we have, yeah, the black ants are soldiers. So I can actually shift the black ants into group one, which means I can now, for example, tell the black ant to go there. By the way, this brings up uh, the option, realistic mode. You see, when I turn this on, it removes those UI elements. So it's a nice option to have. It's a nice option to have, but uh, I'm going to leave it off for now because, yeah, see, realistic mode, it hides the, the indicators there, so it's a lot more realistic. So realistic mode is basically hardcore mode. You're digging into who knows what, which is... Oh, that, that's actually a really good challenge. That's a good, that's a good challenge. Uh, let's get a couple more black ants here. I think I... How much is this? 50 food to place? Jeez, we gotta, we gotta keep digging here. Let's dig to those question marks. And we can dig to these question marks. Oh, so how do I cancel... Um, how do I cancel... What does this say? These woodworms will not fight back once killed. 25 food each, okay. In addition to workers, Black Ant Colony can produce soldiers. These are combat units. They deal much more damage and have more health. Okay. Uh, what was this? Right, yes. Uh, dismiss Pheromone Marker. There we go. And we can have two... Can I stack these? Do these not stack? No, they don't stack. Okay. I feel like I need three. Right? So two exclamation marks, that's the weakest thing. So we're going to try some combat here. That's pretty dangerous. Okay, but we're going to... That's woodworms. That was woodworms. Okay, so we've got a nice set of food here. So the queen lays the, uh, the eggs around here. But I think one of these tiles is sort of... Like these control the population cap. Okay, so now we're going to dig down here. Let's dig down like that. And bring, like, let's put the pheromone marker The workers here. have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. If the ants had disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. I see. I see. Well, it seems like those things gave us food as well. Their corpses provide 15 food, not a lot. The larva of the Devil's Coach Horse will attack ants on sight. They deal relatively normal amount of damage but they bite fast hmm. i feel like we need more soldier ants this colony must remain small for now okay food okay. is too scarce to support greater numbers uh we can however start making our way over here so we can support 
<laughs> oh, these stacked now. Okay. I'm not sure what caused them to stack, but I love how the screen highlights with... Right? See, these are the core seven workers around the queen. Those are the extra ones. These are the soldiers. Okay, we're going to have the soldiers sit right here. So it says three, four, so it shows how many ants are there. So you have four soldier ants. I want to dig into here. Three exclamation marks, we should be okay. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. I think we can win this, right? Ooh, we lost, we lost an ant. We lost two ants, oh no. Uh, okay, more are hatching, more are hatching. Okay, so this is basically, it functions as a rally point. There we go. But it just, it, it costs food to, to do this. But I suppose, how much does it cost to hatch, five food to hatch? So killing one of those things gives us 15. So if we lose three ants to each of those, then we cover up, we, that's the point where it's just about covering the cost. So as long as we lose fewer than three per larva, um, then it's okay. Now we're gonna bring this over here. We got more food, which means we can expand our military. It's so expensive, can I? There we go, let's get two more and start digging up this way. Okay, okay. Can you build larger food stores? I feel like we can. Um, food storage style, you totally can. Uh, I guess I can just set this. Oh, this only costs five to place. So we're gonna use this chamber here as a food storage tile. So, ah, right, okay, it's an extra the 10 The colony each. is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Ah, we gotta go. Oh, so. There are intruders in the nest. Ah, uh, this does feel very Dungeon Keeper, doesn't it? It feels very Dungeon Keeper. Have I played this game before? No, this is my first time. Yes, it's basically Dungeon Keeper with ants. Pretty much. Uh, sort of inspired by Empires of the Undergrowth, I think. Okay, so what's this? Once a tile is surrounded by six tiles of the same type or walls, it can be upgraded. Remember what I said about building a colony rewards- building a colony like real ant colonies rewards you with gameplay bonuses? Yes! Uh, from the build- so six of the same type, all surrounded by walls. You will now see tiles that can be upgraded denoted by a complete green circle. Click on them to mark them for upgrade. An upgrade costs the same as a base tile. A tile surrounded by level 2 tiles can be upgraded to level 3. Each upgrade makes the ants produced by that tile more powerful. And at level 3, they will often gain an extra ability. Design chambers hexagonally and surround them by walls to be able to upgrade the maximum number of ants. Okay, so surrounded by a green tile. Uh, sorry, surrounded by green circles. Upgrade... So this is upgrade tool. Equal to ori original cost of the tile. Oh. So I can upgrade this tile. Which costs 50. And I can upgrade this tile. What is 6 out of 6, 6 out of 12? Ants larva. Okay, so those, so this works as well. This can be upgraded, right? Because it gets plus one. I see, that, that's how many things around it need to be right. So see, it gets plus one for each wall and then plus one, or plus two for an adjacent tile like that. Right, but this is very expensive. Okay, but that does make us more powerful. I'm gonna start my way digging over here. We don't have much more source of food. Wait, are these still all edible? I guess it is, right, right we, we got food. So I can continue to, um, what is this button? 
Speed up tile. Oh, right. We can place speed up tiles so that ants move faster on those. So you can build these sort of super highways. Uh, but I feel like we need more military. I uh, think I need to dig out that. Place military here. So you see for the upgrade, this now no longer has the ability to upgrade, but if I place another soldier tile there, I can upgrade it again. Okay. The answer sign to Pheromone Markers can be told to not gather food or not attack from the buttons to the right of the assignment panel. This can be used to stop an attack squad picking up food they encounter or gather food in the heat of battle. Okay, that's important. This is prevent gather prevent attack place pheromone marker cancel pheromone marker okay so we're gonna do send we've got five soldier ants here and one's at least some of them are upgraded seven soldier ants seven soldier ants really one two three four five six seven right 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 okay all right let's let's try bust through here all the foods up here so we have to kill all nearby creatures that's the mission for today there's a lot of them there's a lot of them. Okay. Let's bust through here. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. What are these? They're shells? Are these more adults? So you can see, yeah, one one of our soldier some of our soldier ants are bigger than the others. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Jeez. I think these guys were stronger. Or maybe there were just more of them. But I think we're winning this. I think we're winning. Okay, so now we're going to dig up into this region. Just to access all this food. Are we out of food? Or is it all... Can we not collect this? Maybe this this doesn't. Count These as wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, oh, but they lice. are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. Right. So I need to send my military here to kill the wood lice. Need more storage? No, no. Food storage is fine. Uh, I'm not sure if this is just broken or. What? But it's okay. There's more food sources here. I'm gonna bust into here as well. So there we go. Oh, we overturned them. Like that. I see. Woodlice have thick armor and it'll take a while to kill. Their hunkered down ability provides them with increased defense, reducing physical damage. Once killed, they can be harvested one ant at a time for a total of 40 food. I see. Okay. Maybe it's too far? So perhaps I need to shift um, like a couple of these ants over to two and tell them to go here and make sure these guys are on prevent attack, but they are gathering food. Let's see if they... Okay, yes, it just needs some control. Just needs some control. Yes, Renegade said so. We just need to uh, just grab some ants and send them over there. There we go, there we go. Now we're getting the food. So that also means I see why we need more workers. <laughs> um, let's expand this for worker ants. I see these seven, it's just this one is the nest group and I can't tell them to go around. Okay, let's get some more, like three more worker ants. Are these guys dead yet? No. Soldier ants go over there. There we go. Now we're getting the ants. This also allows us to upgrade... Uh, actually, I wanted to build one more ant thing there. Keep killing those guys, yes. Because we need... What's the largest group here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9? 
Oh, this is just so many. This is like 5, 10, 15. It's almost 20 there. Okay, so we got these five ants here, right? So they picked up everything. So I can now... Oh, is the game lagging a little bit? It's okay. We'll just drop the graphics options. Graphics preset. Let's drop it to there. Apply. There we go. Um, so you guys are now going to go over here. Food stores are full. Okay, that means it's upgrade time. Uh, upgrade. Yes. Yes, yes. This colony must remain small for okay. now. Okay. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Okay. We can bust through here, though. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm starting to, to get this, yeah. Soldiers, please hang out here. As we dig through into those. So the southern side of the map is now going to be cleared. Very there good. are intruders in the nest. Yeah, you guys are on don't attack. You guys... I suppose you can stay. Okay, we're grabbing up more food. Let's keep upgrading. Okay, so see with each upgrade, I want to get this to level 3. I want to get that to level 3. They dead? Okay. Uh, this group here, I can probably get... Right? I could probably kill this group. There's some pretty big food stores. We could sneak by this one to get to there. They're still picking up these wood lice? I think so. Okay. Uh, also, I wanted to build a couple more workers there. And I wanted to upgrade that. So it takes a little time to upgrade. And then this should be 11 out of 12. Upgrade that. 12 out of 12 and then we can upgrade it. Okay. Plus all of our military is getting stronger here. Let's dig into that. Upgrade. Last one there. Enabling level 3 upgrade. Uh, where am I going to be celebrating Raya this year? Uh, not really traveling. So this is probably going to cost another 50 to upgrade. Level 1, Predators two, are three. loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Okay. We should be able to kill this. It's a lot of them though, actually. I think it'll be a net gain, but we... Oh, we actually might... Uh... Uh, let's bring two back. Let's keep sending. Okay, we are slowly killing them. Oh. This might actually just break even. Okay. Two comes back. We have seven workers, eight soldiers. Can I upgrade this? Yes. So this is going to be a level three tile. So it shows that. So... The That's workers next. have done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. Okay. I don't know what a level 3 ant can do. But perhaps we don't go up there yet. Let's sneak around to this food source. Just so we have that secured. This is... One, two... Yeah, I feel like we need... Lots more soldiers. I can't dig that. Okay. Let's expand this whole room up. Let us put down some extra storage for food. And let's get more soldiers. Lots more soldiers. Because if we're going to be fighting like 20 of them, we probably need about 20 of them. <laughs> right? Ah. They're alive, so we have to go and kill these guys. Now, these things are harmless, but you know, if you do any gardening, you probably see these in your pots once in a while. They're just annoying. Just annoying. Alright, we have 10 soldier ants right now. I think we need more. 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's going to allow 17. 17, then we try upgrade as much as we can. Food tiles can also be upgraded, and I don't know what happens when you upgrade food tiles. Five food to place? Yeah, just fill that up. And keep the military going. I'm gonna do that. These guys are all dead. Okay, so next group we attack I think is here, because it will... Uh, with the food there, we'll earn some back. We have 12 ants, 12 soldier ants. Let's keep going. Seven worker ants. So yeah, them walking through here, you see they slow down. So this is actually not great design. I should have put the nursery more tucked away, like the food tiles, right? So this is not so good. It's actually slowing them down. Okay, expand, expand. Mm. This is this is actually better than I was expecting. Can I play some highway tiles? Right, let's try that. So this costs how much? Five food to place. So let's say I want to speed up this this road. Right, this. So they they're now gonna move faster on this. It is it's like double speed. That is significant. Right? So harvesting from the other side of the map, this is now going to speed up quite a lot. There's going to be more food coming from there, so it's actually worth it to build up the highway to there. Look how fast they are! And then look how they basically go half speed on this, double speed on that. Okay. Um, we can still get... I wanted one more here and another one there. Uh, also, you guys now have to go gather that food. 15 ants, 16 ants on the way. We should be able to take this, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have almost double. Alright, let's dig into it. Why not just add a tunnel just north of the Queen's There to take are a intruders shortcut? in the nest. <laughs> Wait, can I dig through this? <laughs> I uh, I'm 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 not thinking like an ant. All right, you guys just try kill as many as you can. But these are these are easy harvest. Okay. Look, look, I'm not thinking like an ant. You can just dig right through. I'm pretty confident we'll win this because we have a lot of ants. There we go. Okay. So next, we're going to be digging through here. I'm not going to go up there because that's the the main area. This looks like a easy enough kill. So... I probably want to... No, not upgrade. Just build speed upgrade like that. Then we can do that. So they bring the food back as fast as possible. I also wanted another one of those, so that's going to get me to 17. I'll do... This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Okay, okay. I understand. Build more farms. Do I have enough to kill this? I think I do. Dig into there. We have 17. I think I will go to 20. Predators are loose in the nest. 
The larvae must be protected. Go kill those things. I do like how the mouse cursor lights things up so you can like really look at things. Oh, I hope they add in unnecessary things like possess an ant. Oh, I think we're getting pretty strong, actually. I'd love to be able to possess an ant. Uh, oh, we can't dig there. Let's do that. Uh, have we finished harvesting these? No. Okay, but these speed up things going much better. We're not using this route at all anymore. Okay, do you think I can take that? We have 18. I'm gonna go for 20. Nice round number. Then we can focus on upgrading our military. Okay. Uh, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Dig into that. Then we get the food behind them. So this is where they were. There are and intruders in the here. nest. Okay. Good, good. I think we can handle this. It's hard to tell exactly what's going on. Okay. Uh, you guys now are going to be harvesting these. Those are great. We can also dig into these, see if we need to kill anything. Uh, and we can now focus on upgrading our military as much as possible. Okay, easy, easy kill, easy harvest. Uh, so next we are getting this group. Food stores are full? Really? Let's the workers have problem. done all they can to prepare this brood chamber. There we go. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. It's a little hard to tell how many of these have been upgraded. Does it actually show? I think it shows when you mouse over here, right? Levels 1, 2, 3, 9, 10, 1. Okay. Let's slowly dig into there. Okay. Oh, we harvested that quick. Uh, you guys are going there next. Keep upgrading. Get a couple more level threes, more level twos. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think we can take that. And we just keep upgrading as we go there are intruders in the nest good get to killing wiggle harder <laughs> and the symbol yeah this is basically watching chariots fight each other in pharaoh it's just Okay. Killed? Killed. Fantastic. So now we just have to worry about the final chamber and we will win. Which I think I can already pretty handily get it, right? I, I think we'll be good. Yeah, keep harvesting all this stuff, yeah. This is... You know, we have 20, they have 20, but we respawn. And we've been upgrading quite a lot. Can we get it? Can we get it? I don't know. It's a little scary. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's jump into it. Okay. We're gonna bust into here and kill as many as we can. We'll probably take quite a lot of losses. Predators are oh, loose in the nest. They're separated. The larvae but... must be protected. Oh, that's an adult! The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. 
The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. Oh. The devil's coach horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. How much? A fully grown devil coach, devil's coach horse is aggressive. <clears throat> Sorry, I forgot. David Attenborough. A fully grown devil's coach horse is aggressive, has a large health pool, and a powerful but slow bite. It will periodically spray directly in front of it with a foul smelling secretion, which confuses ants hit by it. It will take a large force to take down, but can be harvested by two ants at a time for a total of a hundred food once killed. A hundred food. Upgrades, 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 upgrades. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Okay, let's win this, let's win this. But also, let's try harvest that. Needs two ants to carry it, jeez. Come on. Since it was there separated- are intruders in the nest. There's two of them, there's two of them, okay. Is it AoE damage? Because that could be a problem. Can I bust that open, please? Maybe we can flank them? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's AoE damage and there's two of them. Upgrades. No, no, we need the food to respawn our ants. We need the food to respawn our ants. Also, um, let's redirect our workers because we're sending them to their deaths. Oh, it actually, yeah, see, it confuses them and then they run off and die. But I think in this position, the larvae have been killed. It's just two adults now. So this is 200 food right here. But oh, I think it's costing us quite a lot to get them. One's dead. Now we can surround and kill. Yeah, it is. <laughs> There's even little question marks. Got him! This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground, where new challenges await. For the time being, however, the Queen is safe. Victory for Formica Fusca! Ah, uh, so we've got... 28 extra territory? I don't know what any of this means. Extra food, extra royal jelly. I guess... Oh, I have to choose. I have to choose. Do I want... I think I want the royal jelly, because I just... Yeah. I'm gonna go for the royal jelly. Oh, so th there's a base reward, and then we can get extra of something. I want the royal jelly. Yeah. And level. Spoils for your formicarium. Hmm. 71 royal jelly. That's... that's a lot. Royal jelly, isn't this wrong species? How is the colony progressing? The queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. We are gene stealers. In order to access the surface, you will need to mark the surface tunnel to be excavated. To the very north of your queen is a surface tunnel. Left-clicking this will mark it for excavation. Right, so this is how you actually enter the, the main map. It's this. So we're gonna dig it out. So basically you can't get out and you can't... Uh, and things can't get in until you bust this down. Food stores are full. And there we go. We've unlocked the secondary map over there. And you can see it's sunny out here. And there's little bits of food. So I should actually be able to say, like, shift some workers over to group one and tell group one to go gather these from the surface, right? What are those? Is this food? Is this what the scientists have given us? 
So yeah, look at that. We can just kill these things and bring them back to the colony. Our food stores are full, so um, I probably want to expand this. And place more food stores. Hexagons in isolated rooms is the way to do it. So looking at this, we've harvested them. So group one, now we can dismiss the pheromone marker so you stop going there. Oh, wonderful. So you can see we are in a glass. We're, we're, we're in an ant farm. Uh, based on some scientists. We can't read what they've been writing, we're ants. But yeah, uh, just so you know, I'm now gonna back out of the... Uh, here, I'm, uh, can I save? Save for Macarium, yes. And I'm gonna go to the main menu and show you what more of a multiplayer map will look like. Right? So let's go to free play and just so you know what something like this would look like. Yeah, whatever. We can't speak English. Uh, and we'll pick another... What color? Pink? Let's go pink. Uh, so we got Gene Thief, Black Ant, Wood Ant. I'm not sure what the difference are. Unit options. There's Mortar or Rapid Fire. You know, I, I don't know. Um, we can have the dunes. The small secluded area and some sand dunes or Towhead. River Island offers the best resources in the middle but can per periodically flood, wiping out resources and creatures alike. Right. So I just want to show you what this looks like. I'm gonna start on what an actual populated map looks like since uh, we've only played the first campaign mission. Uh, let me just dig out to here. In this small corner of the world, the creatures continue their day-to-day -day lives, unaware that a new power is about to rise in the undergrowth. Wow. That's a pretty epic description. So the map does sort of show little bits of food and dangers. So I'm just going to dig to the surface and show you that there are other things on the map. I'm not sure if I'm reading this map correctly. Or are those brown dots something else? Maybe it's something else. Anyway, we're gonna dig to the surface here. Oh, it's not food. Okay, let's let's get to the surface. Come on. Down you come. I like the lights. I mean, I know it's it's not realistic to have lights in the tunnel, but it does give that dungeon keeper vibe. And the whole unlocking of the other level of the map. Now this, this is sim, this is sim ant, isn't it? <laughs> Digging a straight line down, down to the bottom of a colony where you can find the hole that leads to your opponent's map. Anyway, here we are on the surface, there's a day-night cycle, and there's a lot more stuff going on. This is where, look at this, a spider, it chased off things, there's grasshoppers, I think. Multiple kinds of spiders, oh, so wait, these are spiders, what happens if I turn on? Arachnophobe mode. It doesn't get rid of the spiders. <laughs> it gives them... It gives them party hats? It's give it, it gave them hats. Are they dunce caps? You know, I'm gonna leave it on. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Arachnophobes in the audience. Does that work? There's one over there. Does that work? Didn't press accept? No, I'm pretty sure it stayed on. Uh, yeah, it's on, it's on. Does it work? Does it work for you? Because I'm not particularly scared of spiders, so I can't assess that. But you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, let me know in the comments whether arachnophobe mode works. And this is where the dynamic lighting comes in. Guys, by the way, thanks to Chaos Fangs for donating quite a bit of money to help me get this tech set up. Because see, I'm like lit by the by the morning sun. I'm in the dark. Ooh. I'm out in the open. I'm in the dark. Oh, I love it. I love it. I've been wanting this tech for so long. Anyway, there's uh, poppies growing here and these bugs. I'm not sure 
I, I'd not like to be able to... We can turn on details here. I'm not sure if it shows us any details about... Like, it shows us all these numbers. Like, 0 out of 3, is that health? Armor? I'm not sure. Things are just killing each other out here. And this is just, like, dead fit... Oh, this is, like, 1,500 food, I think. Wow, okay. What's this? The rival colony is over here. Guys, is that working for you? Is, is that... Does that work for you? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, overall, I think this game... It's better than I was expecting. It's... it's actually... like, there's a nice number... The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. You know, voice acting's pretty good. Graphics-wise, pretty decent. Like, I'm running on high now, not ultra, because it was lagging a bit in the recording. Uh, there's a good number of bugs out here. Right? It's it's set up for, for competitive RTS. The tunnel mechanics down here worked really nicely. The controls of the units is nice. It's, you know, after a little while, it's easy enough to understand. You know, some of these, like, th these buttons here, a little... It feels a little awkward to use. I'm not sure if this could be done a little bit differently. We have many different wood ant melee nursery unit. Wood ant nursery tile. Wood ant worker tile, right? Okay, so different species of ants are in. You know, the tech tree for the campaign. There's actually a single player campaign, which is nice, actually. Overall, it's pretty solid, right? And the symbol says 0 out of 10, too buggy. <laughs> uh, but overall, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, right? Options, rebindable keys there. Yeah, the options menu, pretty decent. Separate sliders for all of these features, borderless windowed mode, separate audio sliders, rebindable hotkeys for what I can see, pretty much everything. I like it. And it does very much remind me of Empire of the Ants. And this is pretty much a worthwhile successor. Just need more maps. Yeah, there's only two maps now. It is still in development, uh, but it did just get this update. Uh, that's why they sent me the, the review code to, to check it out. And yeah, I was, I was really concerned that this was gonna be bad. I was like, it's it's one of those games that can just be bad, right? It's like it it can so easily become horrible, but or just boring, right? But I think they're taking what they need to take from Dungeon Keeper and just making it this sort of competitive game, right? Like. I think it's nice. I think it's nice. Right? Anyway, you, you let me know what you think. I'm not really a reviewer, but for an in-development game, like, it's been pretty solid for what's there. The content that is there, it's been pretty solid. So, good job, Slug Disco Studios. I look forward to this game completing and us being able to play more of that campaign and do keep that, do keep that voice acting. I like it. I like how over-the-top the guy especially is like, Oh, these ants. Oh, we found such a healthy specimen. The queen is laying eggs. Right? So we've heard three voice actors so far. Pretty good. <laughs> Wait for the termite expansion. It would be cool if they started adding, like, completely other species. Termites versus ants. Mm. Uh, but that, maybe that's kind of in the distance, isn't it? Ah, uh, but anyway. Slug Disco Studio, give me the ability to possess an ant. Then, then I'll be good, I'll be good. Alright, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed this the look at... The colony is at, starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. At our starving colony of empires of the undergrowth. Shaping up nicely. Check it out yourself if you want to see more. And that's it for this Gamer Encounters. Hope you enjoyed it, found it useful, and do check out more stuff on the channel if you're watching on YouTube. Click the buttons, so many more gamer encounters, and so much more content. Thousands of videos, well, 
thousand plus videos that you can check out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!